guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So a while back I started this series type thing where I did a bookshelf tour but I was going through the alphabet on my shelves. So I kind of sort of named it the bookshelf tour, the alphabet bookshelf tour or something like that. I don't even know. You can check out uh, the first video which was the letter A right up here. Today I am going to be talking about the letter B. And I actually had way more books on my shelf than I thought that started with the letter B. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you the books that I have to start with the letter B. Remember I am not considering the or a as a word in any situation. The first book is A Beauty So Rare by Tamara Alexander. This cover is so beautiful. I remember when this came out. Still so gorgeous. Still have not read it. The next one is Blowing on Dandelions by Marilee Farrell. Then I have A Beauty Refined by Tracy Peterson. A Bride in the Bargain by Deanna Gist. The Beautiful Pretender by Melanie Dickerson. Book Ends by Liz Curtis Higgs. A Bride for Keeps, Bride in Store, and A Bride at Last, all by Melissa Jagers. Beneath the Surface by Lynn H. Blackburn. And finally, Blind Spot by Danny Petri. So I had 11 books total that started with the letter B on my shelves that I saw at least. I noticed last time that after I did the video I found a couple other books that started with the letter A. So I wouldn't be surprised if I do that. But as of what I saw of filming this, I had 11 books that start with the letter B. And quite a few of those books, especially historical, are beauty or bride, you know, that typical. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying this segment. C will be our next letter and I'm very excited to do that one because I believe I have a few of them. It's so cool to scavenge my shelves and I would love to know if you have any titles that I don't have that start with the letter B. Let me know. Hit me up in the comment section below. I'm curious. You can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com, and you can also follow my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!